distress oxides, inks that everyone is talking about. Are they that really good as everyone says? Let's try it together, let's find out. I'm gonna give you the first impression because I haven't opened them, I didn't choose them, so let's do it together. I have nine colors, uh, there's three more. I'm not too sure why on the top of my uh, it says distress bigger oxide smaller. I've seen upside down to it, a big oxide uh, writing. Um, this this one looks a little different. It's original, it's uh, from States. Um, Rain sent it to me when she found them in a good price. So I, I believe it's exactly the same thing. I'm just saying the slightly different top to the ones I have seen. But anyway, let's just try and create some background and most definitely we will use the technique that everyone else use and make it the most common background uh, using oxides. Mm, all we need is uh, some colors together and we need some water. It's a beautiful uh, matte finish, a beautiful um, what what they call it? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, chalky finish, yes. Sorry. <laughs> I have to say the first impression. Mm -mm -mm. Oh wow, wow! Um, very nice coverage. I will see how this will be. So, and we're gonna just spray it. Simply as that. We are gonna spray it. The biggest important part of that technique is to make sure that we will basically dry in between the layers. That's uh, kind of the most important part. So we have something now. Let's dry this. While this is still a little wet, we can just sprinkle some water. Okay, and go back to our colors. We need some more water, I guess. And it we start to have those nice mixes of colors. So this is nearly dry, so let's continue and let's just add touches of a different color. And it's only really touches that you need in order to have those gorgeous, gorgeous uh, looks. What about if we will add a different color here on the side? Will that be something super nice or let's see. Ah, oh, wow, we. Mm hmm. I think I should dry now. <laughs> This is what we have so far, so let's keep on adding a little touches of different pigment. Maybe we need some more water. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it's like picking up those little drops of color and drying it. Maybe let's add one more color, a little bit of yellow. A little bit of yellow may be good for a contrast to our card. This is what we have so far. You can see the beautiful drops and oxide effect already. Oh, there you go. So that's a nice contrast to it. And since everything, oh, I'm sorry, since everything is dry, this will nicely go on top of each other without making a muck, basically. Let's try this. So the beauty of them, uh, from my observation, is that you can lay layer uh, colors on top of each other, which is basically fabulous idea. One last color, let's try. What else can we add? Let's go for this brown, maybe color, that will match the rest of the uh, palette, I think. Yes, I can see that there's way too much water there and it's harder to get the nice little drops. So, not too much water, just touches, I guess. Touches, touches, touches. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
There we go, and let's try this. So here is our uh, background using kind of uh, the ordinary most known uh, technique. I'm gonna pick up all the colors now because it's a waste not to, isn't it? And hopefully I will have this gorgeous things and maybe use it somehow. I don't know. I don't know. It looks nice anyway. <laughs> Another fun idea I thought could be just do like a kind of rainbowish look. Uh, let me show you. It's only in my head <laughs> because I haven't tried it. So it's really... maybe it will work. Maybe it will be nice and fun. We will see. Just an idea for a different technique that you can do. And I thought that this will match nicely here. And I thought to spray that with water and literally drag it from oh that is so nice I'm gonna let it to dry and leave it as it is unless we will spray that just to have this kind of coverage up oh, what about if we will try to cover that again in this way oh pretty 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 perfect pretty I'm gonna leave it to dry this is what we have and it looks really pretty it's not completely dry but it's it looks really really nice and completely different to this so we have two looks now what about doing something with those leftovers and maybe adding another color a pink here something like that and maybe adding a bit of yellow as well I have to say it's quite fun at the moment interesting and fun and I'm not gonna work a lot on this background right now I'm gonna spray the water dip it the whole thing and see what will be I'm trying to spread the color on my mat <laughs> as much as I can okay let's just do it let's just do it exactly kind of in the middle where I hope to touch all of the colors basically soaks in soaks in and Where's my little tool for picking up things? No, I think I may actually be fine without it. Ooh, wow! Look, oops. Look at that stunning, delicate background. background. I'm gonna leave it for drying. And <laughs> I need to use that, don't you think? So I'm gonna basically try to dip it again and just use the leftover and work around what's here, you know? Now, we leave that as it is, nicely delicate, beautiful delicate background, we leave that. Since we have a very dark here, we leave this then. I hope that I'm gonna dry this, woo! I'm gonna dry that and it's gorgeous and I'm gonna dip it again and we will see. So this uh, piece is dry and I will try to concentrate on the green one here, here maybe. I'm gonna press it hardly this time. Oh, nice one. And blue here on the other end of my card. Ooh, look at those. Let's dry. Each of them have this beautiful opaque chalky finish. I have to say it's really pretty. Uh, so this is what we have for now. Uh, a little background. Shall we move on to the next one? Let's do the next one. Those will dry in the meantime. This is my leftover kind of picking up <laughs> page so I will literally pick up oops more and more and this will be a total pick it up of everything <laughs> from the table what's in here uh, whoa look at that <laughs> another uh, technique will be sprinkling sprinkling our color so I'm just gonna add colors ran randomly kind of mm-hmm and I will spray one paper with water 
one will have no water and we will see which one will work better I have to say I love playing with those I really do actually <laughs> this looks so pretty that I'm tempted to basically make a print from it we, I think we should do that <laughs> make a lovely lovely print from that no we have purple so maybe this one now the red one mmm and the green one as well maybe and what if without planning <laughs> I'm gonna actually do this sort of press we need maybe like a roller would that help? Maybe it would. I have a roller that doesn't roll by the best, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, so that's just an idea. Whether it's a good idea or not, we, we will find out that now. Ooh, it looks really nice. Let's leave this and let's spray that and do it the same. Okay, let's spray that and do the same. That is interesting, isn't it? Oops, I touched it a little bit. That's okay. What a noise. Okay, I think that's enough. Wow! That is so different, isn't it? So different. I'm missing a little bit of water there but you know what I'm gonna leave it as it is now the one that I have planned to do <laughs> was to basically I can spray some water here and no water there it would be good to use this fan brush thing because it just picks up the colors nicely look it's a different effect we get and it, I guess it's just down to the fact this one is watery, this one is not. Um, the final look will be different as you can see. This is very delicate, this is already spreading. I'm gonna do like this because I rather have this kind of, <laughs> kind of, uh, flat I should clean my brush but okay oh that's better now mm hmm now another thing is that we could what we could now is we could basically leave this one as it is or we could spray it with water but I think we leave it as it is isn't it? Okay, so that uh, that's our two backgrounds. I'm gonna take another page and I'm gonna do it the same thing with the dry ones and I'm gonna sprinkle it with water. If we are doing all sorts of experiments let's just experiment that way. So we are adding, okay everything is mixed up <laughs> color wise and uh, so it's probably against the nature of oxide but let's just not being afraid of experimenting otherwise we're not gonna find out things so my next step is to spray water there and maybe let it run or something I don't think it makes any mm, it's okay I guess it is what it is No, nothing special. Well, just a delicate background that you can just do like that. So it will be three different ways using kind of the sprinkly technique. So <laughs> there you go. That kind of look, but this didn't really, everything kind of melt in together and mixed up. So it's not a mock color, but it's just orange. <laughs> 
What if we keep on adding now the colors and just try to rescue it in any sort of way? That will end up as a similar, I guess, as the other. No. What if we take a tissue and just press it hardly and see what sort of background we are going to be left with? That is nice now. That is different, delicate. That is very pretty watercolor, delicate background. So yes, there are ways of doing things as you can see. <laughs> so there we go, our three sprinkly pages. We will pick up the colors again now. Wow, that is so nice. So nice. It will happen that this will be the best background of them all, <laughs> I'm guessing. It looks superb, superb. Mm, let's keep on experimenting. What will happen if we will add a color, oops, a color directly on our, on our cardstock and just spray it with the water? Simply as that. What will happen? No, it does bleed on top of each other, so be careful where you spray in it, uh, where you stick in your ink. Wow, do you know what? <laughs> it looks just amazing now. Amazing. Even though I dirtied my ink a little bit, but that's okay. Look, I'm not really. Whoa! That is just a wow. <gasps> Love it. Okay, so unexpected, totally unexpected background that was not meant to be. <laughs> Let's do it again because this is not what I wanted. Uh, of course, it's gorgeous and love it and thank you, but I wanted to spray it. But you see, that's exactly it. When you experiment and when you're adding colors and when you're trying, even if you're doing things against the original kind of thought, this is where you can find out amazing things and just have a result that you maybe didn't expect to have you know you know what I mean <laughs> okay what about a bit of here on the side okay that is also stunning just as it is what a stunning background for a card different to this one different to this one because that was pressed from here on top of that. So again, <laughs> be courageous. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna leave it as it is because I think it's stunning as it is without overlapping. <laughs> I'm gonna take one more page. Okay, I cut it the paper because <laughs> it's meant to be different, but it's okay. I love experiments, I really do. To be honest, I wasn't too sure I'm gonna ever get oxides because everyone was playing with them. Everyone does play with them. And I was like, do I really have to have it? But since so many of you were asking about it, and since Ray was faster than I even thought about, and she spotted them in the shop, <laughs> And she knew that I'm quite busy and I have my head is not there. <laughs> she have decided to just purchase them for me. As you know, she's my secret USA shopper. So she surprised me with the uh, parcel and sent them to me. So I'm glad that she did because I can just play around now with you. Okay, so that is the... <laughs> Again, look how pretty that is. That is the what I wanted and now I wanted basically to add water and see what will happen if we add water. Wow, we. Isn't it just like really gorgeous? I mean, don't you just love it? It looks that oxides are extremely extremely versatile. You can do so much with them. And the color selection is very nice and interesting. So, wow. I really, I didn't think I'm gonna praise them that much. I really didn't think. I thought they are, you know, they're just, people are trying to love them. But I was like, really? Like, are they really that special? 
Marta Maremi Small Art is saying to you they are really special, they really are nice. So if you are thinking about getting them, I'm not saying get all 12 colors, is it 12? But few colors of your choice would be nice. Yeah, most definitely. Okay, I'm gonna leave this to dry as it is on my floor. And I have one more idea that came to my head. But I need to, first of all, pick up all of that. Pick up all of this. <clears throat> pick up all of this. Okay? And do it again. And do it again because I have an idea in my head. Hadu, hadu, hadu. In my head, I thought about something nice that could be done. Another nice technique that could be done basically. So let's spray that with water. And let's just. Well, you know what? Even this is gorgeous. This was like two seconds. Two seconds and look at that. The most important is to join the, the good colors together. Like greens and blues and yellow will work beautifully. Look, I will... <laughs> will I just leave it as it is because it's just stunning. Like, I mean, wow. But the idea I had, had, I had was to dry it a little. And then pick up some pigment and wipe it off nearly with a tissue. Like what this sort of look we will have. Will we have some like a fading effect? That is so nice as well. Another thing that could be done. What will happen if we start wiping that with the tissue, wet tissue look? This is really nice and it does react with water. Hmm, <laughs> wow. Oops. Wow, wow, wow. So blending is just amazing. Hmm, <laughs> wow. I am falling in love with those inks, I have to say. Gorgeous, simple but gorgeous. Let's do something else and instead of dirting my table, I'm gonna put <laughs> maybe a card under or around it or however. So when I will be adding my colors, things will go on the other cards. That's just, what a clever idea, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I am not too sure what I'm gonna do now, but let's just wait and see. Let's just wait and see. <laughs> that is pretty and yellow, maybe yellow, yellow. Oops. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna move those on the side. No, I'm not gonna sprinkle that. I will now use a baby wipe and see what will happen or tap it what will happen hmm that is interesting that is interesting just to get rid of the lines the lines where the where we had the squarish kind of thing Oh, now what will happen if we add some water like that kind of way where will there be any magic happening and some reaction oh it does happen can you see I'm gonna bring that closer to you and hope to have a focus let me see sorry have you got a focus I think you do now <laughs> So you can see that this actually react and create this fabulous looking oxide effect where, can you see that? I think you can. And it's just by adding water, just by adding water. I'm gonna use maybe a brush and just sprinkle it 
with a brush would be a bit faster. Hmm, that is so nice now. Let's do it again, but a little different. And let's just have, I'm gonna maybe add a little more drops here. That is so pretty. That is so very pretty. I think my ink was a little too dry, so let's do it again with ink being a bit more wet. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. And what about the red one? The red one. Okay, I think it's enough. I think it is enough. I'm gonna move that away. So now, will I sprinkle it or will what? Or will I just maybe add... Whoa! Okay. Okay. I will try to move around, maybe. That is interesting looking now. That is interesting. Very abstract. <laughs> wow. Maybe even more. More wet. And now it would be nice to maybe to maybe pick it up some color from it with a uh, with a tissue. How about that now? Let's see. That is mm, interesting, but I'm not loving it whatsoever. I would probably change it and just spray it with water and try to kind of get rid of the lines at least. And once this is done, pick it up again. Yeah, that's it. Wishy-washy. Look, I like that now. Mm-hmm. That is nice. That is nice. What will happen if we add alcohol? Let's see. Whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Can you see that? What if I add alcohol in here? Oh, it's too late, is it? Because it's, everything is more, more or less dry, so nothing happens. But here, it does move. I hope you can see that. The pigment is moving and it's reacting. And it is creating kind of... I don't know. I don't know how to call it, but it does create things, it does create some sort of look that is different to the other one. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna get rid of that bloppy blop. Now, let me. Can you see the little holes? I hope you can see actually from the alcohol a little. No, you can't because it's out of focus. No, and it, it, it's okay. But trust me. <laughs> there are little, little holes, uh, little dots kind of thing. And I like that. It moves the pigment nicely. I believe that we could try it again on a, a little bit more, sur more wet surface, maybe. So why don't we just try to add some more color? And what about red and green? Does it even go together? Well, it has to. Today it has to go together. And that's it. That's it. Oh. Okay. Now. Bleeds and bleeds and bleeds. And Let's add the woo 
now we're talking. Now we're talking. We have some beautiful cells. Wow, we. Okay. Wow. I love it. This is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Hello, stunning. Hello, beautiful. Wow. Wow. Hmm. You see, sometimes your ideas can come <laughs> when you at least expect it and just from trying and experimenting you can find out nice things. I'm gonna leave it to dry. It's gorgeous, stunning as it is. Mm, I think we can call our experiment done. I'm gonna finish off my big background. Uh, same technique as most of you know, which is putting your color on top of your craft sheet and spraying with water, adding beautiful uh, adding beautiful splatters to our page. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> Looks good. It's nice to finish this. Why not? Why not? It's it's it, it is our background, isn't it? It's big, but it's our background and it's looking really nice. Really nice. Let's try that. And here they are. Dried uh, background ideas, tips, techniques, tricks really. Each of them is different, unique in its own being. Somehow the brown one hides there behind my coffee and I didn't choose it for the whole video. But I hope that's, uh, that's okay with you. I think you still don't have the sharpness as it should be. Okay, I think it's good. So yeah, the brown wasn't used, sorry, I only now when I was cleaning saw it. So, this is what we have. You can stick them to 6x6 six six, your cards. I have to say, if I pick my favorite of all, I have two favorites. It's the alcohol one. I really love it. I think it's stunning. And I like the one that we like, like dragged the color. I really do like... There's many more techniques I'm sure you can use. They were just random quick ideas of it. I also like the original idea of Tim Holtz that himself was showing on the show. So I do like that as well. But I think this wins my vote, uh, the alcohol uh, mix uh, with the with the oxides. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful, it was fun and inspirational. And I hope you will incorporate those techniques in your projects, whether you do journal pages, whether you do some tags, anything of your choice. Thank you so much, as always, for watching, for your time, for being here around me, uh, because it means the world to me. And for every single one comment leaving under my video. I read them, love them. I'm proud uh, reading your beautiful messages to me and I couldn't be happier so thank you very much. Much appreciated. And it's so funny always when I upload a video and there's always few of those who are first to comment and it's just like a little lit ritual now. So thank you for those who are there. Always, always, always. Uh, most of you are always, always there for me. So thank you so much. And yes, uh, I shall finish at that. If you still are not too sure about oxides, get some. This is a stunning color. The, the cracked pistachio, broken china is lovely. The fossilized amber, fossilized amber. I like that. Uh, the jeans one as well is nice. Uh, so maybe the worn lipstick. Those would be my kind of maybe five favorites if you ask me. So yes, uh, thank you so much. I will most definitely chat to you super soon. I have so uh, till the next time because I chit chat and chit chat chat and chat and uh, yeah and yeah I love you. I love you. Bye. Bye bye.